Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Vivian and I am back with a long awaited video. Um, I have been gone for a while, so I'm gonna make this quick. Um, I'm sorry for the intro and I know I've been gone for quite some time. I promise I'll make it up to y'all, but I just wanna get on here and do this quick video about Real Housewives of Potomac season seven, episode eight that aired last night. Okay, first thing first, we pick up where we left off. Mia throws a drink in Wendy's face. They fuss and arguing back and forth with each other. Then they walk off. Okay. Mia sits in the car. She calls her husband, you know, to get her a plane ticket because she's leaving. Okay. So Karen goes to check on her. She's upset because she felt like Karen didn't have her back. Girl. First of all, you was wrong because you was getting all of, all in Wendy's business like you do all the time. And second of all, you threw a drink in Wendy's face. So, bitch, you're wrong and then Wendy's wrong too. Kudos to Karen for standing her ground and letting your ass know. I'm checking on you. I'm concerned about you. But at the same time, y'all both was wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right. Okay, when does I mean Mia's all upset? You know she felt like Karen didn't have her back and this, that, and the third. I'm like, girl, bye. So everybody gets back to the apartment. Um, Wendy, um, she ends she ends up leaving. Uh, she found a hotel nearby. She ended up leaving. Okay, so now we're gonna fast forward to the following day. Candace comes in late that night. You know, she came in that night that everything happened. Um, Robin tells Candace everything that happened. And it's like she was saying both of them was wrong. But at the same time, she was putting more to blame on Wendy. And I'm just like, girl, have a fucking seat. Because the way you're telling this to Candace ain't like you was trying to, you know, calm down the situation. You was, you was egging it on, egging it on, you and Giselle, bitch ass. Because you know I don't like that one of y'all. You was egging it on and you was taken for Mia. Even though Mia threw a drink in Wendy's face, you still was taken for Mia. So, but yeah, but you antagonizing her. You antagonizing her. Girl, sit the fuck down. Okay? So the next day, everybody wakes up. They eating breakfast or whatever. It's Karen's birthday, this, that, and the third. Okay. They all have something planned. Here come Mia come out. Hello. Hey, her her, her friend that ain't no better. So, they all was like, so you're not leaving? You're not leaving? And she was like, no, I decided to stay. And then, even the night before when she was telling them, because Giselle and Robin rode with Mia and them in the SUV. I can't stand them bitches. When Mia told them that she was leaving she already got her plane ticket problem was like oh no no girl sit the fuck down but mia decided not to leave okay everybody goes outside to get in the pool or whatever ashley and candace sits down with karen to find out you know you know candace wants to find out everything candace gets upset She's upset for Wendy and stuff like that. She don't like how Wendy is being treated, which is true. You got Sharice. You got, uh, first of all, Sharice, girl, I used to love you on the previous seasons that you were on. But this season, I don't know why the fuck you back. I don't know why you're back. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Why? Because... You either on mute or it's like when you do talking, it's like, uh, yeah, but, uh, why are you here? You are not needed on this show, especially this season. You are not needed. Now, maybe in the up upcoming episodes, you, 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 you might break loose. But as of right now, girl, it's like, why are you even there? But the way Sharice, Robin, Giselle, Jacqueline, the way everybody is treating Wendy... Candace is upset. She starts crying or whatever. So they call Wendy. You can tell Wendy has been crying. She's been crying a lot, which is true. I, I don't like how they treating her. 
I really don't. Giselle and Robin, girl, y'all know I don't fucking like y'all. I don't like y'all. And that's why I be so glad when Giselle's daughters be getting her ass together. Because that's what they need to keep on doing. Shit. Oh, my God. And Robin, girl, every time you talk, I put your ass on mute. You just need to stay on mute. Every time I see your face, mute. Mute. Every time you talk, mute. I can't stand you. And what you need to be doing is worrying about you, you, your husband, that alleged shit that's going on, allegedly, that's going on with him. But, um... They call Wendy when you could tell Wendy has been crying a lot. So Karen was like, maybe we should do something, you know, with Wendy. Maybe we could have like brunch or whatever, you know. So she decides to go ask Mia. I'm like, Karen, you don't even need to ask me a shit. Because I understand Mia is the hostess of everything. But still, Karen, it's your birthday. You got a right to do whatever the fuck you want. If you felt like you feel like you want to change some shit, the itinerary, that's your business. But whatever the case, she felt like she had to go ask Mia. And of course, Mia is all upset. You know, she, you know, it's like, oh my God, like, oh my God. She is not having it. Okay. And then, um, of course she feels entitled or whatever, you know, because it's too soon, you know, everything's just too soon. I'm just not ready, you know, but I'm like, okay. So then she was like, well, maybe you can do something with her, you know, during the day. And then later on that night, we'll have the dinner. So, okay, cool. So everybody gets in two separate SUVs. Okay. So Mia notices Ashley and Candace going in the SUV with Karen. So they like, so Mia was like, what them bitches doing? Like, or whatever. So she decides to get out. To go confront them. Mind you, Ashley is sitting, you know, kind of like propped up against the door. So when she opens the door, Ashley's like, oh my God, like what the fuck? So, you know, she tells them, you know, I'm just going to say this, you know, um, you know, uh, not Karen. This is not for Karen because, you know, me and Karen, we had this conversation. We, we did talk. But I uh, just want to let you know, when y'all came back, when they, uh, you know, just, uh, just have your bags packed. You know, y'all going to have to leave that apartment. She said something like that with her old aggravated, aggravated vo fucking voice she got. So, Ashley and Candace looking at her like, bitch. Like, like you really, like, really trying it. Like, are you fucking serious? So they were like, we ain't going to goddamn place. But I will say when, when Giselle and all of them went to the beach, I don't like Giselle. I can't stand Giselle. But I'm going to give Giselle some credit because her and Cherise did say, they did tell Mia that the bitch you being petty. You being petty and you need to stop. So, okay, that was that. When they went... You know, she met up with uh, Karen, Ashley, and Candace at the restaurant. They had a little talk. You know, Wendy did spill some tea about G, Mia, and Peter. How when they went uh, somewhere, Peter's then girlfriend at the time, you know, Wendy, I mean, Mia did some shit to Peter's then girlfriend at the time, and Peter stopped fucking with them. So I guess that's why Mia was feeling some kind of way when shots was being thrown, okay? Because the city, because you know, look what Wendy said, okay? So that's that. Candace and Wendy went over to the studio to meet up with Trina, the rapper, the baddest bitch, Diamond Princess Trina, okay? Because. Trina was featured on one of Candace's songs. So they went up, they went over to the studio, did some chit chat or whatever. Then they played the song or whatever. I saw it's cute. You know, I'm not into Candace's music like that. Cause you know, it took me a while to start liking Candace. Cause I didn't like her when, when Monique was on there because that bitch was starting some shit. But I don't know. As of right now, Candace is kind of okay as of right now. But they did that. Now, fast forward all the way to everybody getting back to the apartment, except for Wendy. And um, they're getting dressed. 
Karen decides to want to have, no, I'm getting the names twisted. Mia decides to want to have a conversation, conversation with Karen. On Karen's birthday, while everybody's getting ready to go to dinner for Karen's birthday. Okay, she want to have a conversation with the birthday girl. Okay, with the grand dom. Okay, so okay. Mind you, Giselle is all talking la, tipsy or whatever, cutting up. Okay. So Karen goes upstairs to talk to Mia. Mia still in her fucking feelings, still feeling titled about Karen not having a bag. She just feel like, you know, you know, you're more concerned about Wendy, you know, and, you know, it's disrespectful. I put all of this together and stuff like that. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you the hostess. I am the birthday girl. I got right to pick and choose where I want to go and who I want to come and who I don't want to come. Karen is a grown-ass woman. Y'all all some grown-ass women. Y'all not no kids. Who are you to tell Karen what she can and cannot do? Karen is a grown-ass woman. She don't have to listen to you. You know, and I did all of this. And Karen was like, girl, I don't care about all of this. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. My husband done sucked me roses and I'm good. Like she told her. Which is true. Like, I don't give a damn about all of this. Y'all don't really have to do all of this for me. I am good. It's my birthday. My husband done sucked me roses. You know, like she's telling us so many words. Girl, you, you doing a bit much. You carrying on. You already upset from last night because you felt like I didn't have you back. Bitch, have a fucking seat. You hear me, Mia? Have a seat. And second of all, keep your makeup on. Because, girl, when you ain't got on that makeup, oh, my God. Your skin. Whoo! I don't know if it's all them Botox or whatever you keep on doing. But, girl, keep on your makeup. Now, I ain't gonna lie. You, you, you know, sometimes you, your outfits and everything be together. I'm gonna give you that. But, girl, keep that makeup on. And I guess when you when you so bitchy and petty, you know, it really fucks up your skin with that too. You may want to kind of check into that. But um, oh yeah, just going back and forth and stuff like that. And I forgot what was said at the end, y'all. Oh my god. Cause Mia Mia told Karen something, cause Karen walked out. She was like, I'm done with this conversation. And Mia said something. She's like, no, you need to be watching out for wind because wind is coming for you. Bitch! Like, who are you to... T Girl, Karen is the grand dom. She don't need you telling her who to watch out for and this, that, and the Karen know these girls. You don't have to coach Karen. If anything, Karen need to coach your ass. Like, it's just it's just the level of it, it's the stupidity. And first of all, Mia... Your ass, I mean, if you if you so much feel like, oh, you know, disrespecting, oh, and Karen, you know, Karen is like my friend, and just like, I go have her. That's another thing. This bitch, Jacqueline, is a fucking dodo bird. Dodo bird, dodo bird, dodo bird. She ain't got no mind of her own. That's another one. She was in between them. Mia had the audacity, the audacity. To sit there and say, well, you my friend. She's telling Jacqueline, you my friend. So if you in a situation like that or whatever, I'm going to go hard for you. I'm going to have your back. So like Karen told her, so you, gonna, so you mean to tell me you're going to have her back even if she wrong? And you know she wrong? You're going to still have her back? You're not going to correct her? That's the shit I'm like, what kind of friend is that? That's not going to check you when you're wrong. I don't want you to keep... You know, if I'm right, good. But if I'm wrong, I want you to tell me if I'm wrong and why. Don't just be don't just be a yes man. You know, just be a oh yeah, yeah. Don't just take my back because you're my friend. Have my back. Yeah, if I'm right and you know I'm right, you're gonna stand, you're gonna stand by my side, you're gonna have my back. But if I'm wrong, oh no, let my ass have it. I don't give a fuck if I may get mad at you, but at least you you my friend. To where you not you not just gonna sugarcoat shit. You gonna let me know if I'm wrong. You gonna tell me I'm wrong. So I was like, girl, what the what kind of fucking shit is this? Like, are you kidding me? 
But that's how it ended, y'all. I'm not going to keep y'all on. All I know is Karen walked out. Mia made that comment. You, you, you better watch Wendy. Wendy coming for you or something like that. Girl, then we see the a, a sneak peek of the next episode, which is episode nine. Where well, they're all at the dinner table. Wendy ends up, ends up showing up. Okay? She showed up. You can see Giselle, because Mia was sitting by Giselle. And Giselle, like, as soon as Wendy walk in, she said, hey, y'all want to wear Giselle pulling, pulling Mia to the side. I'm like, girl, Giselle, bitch. <laughs> you know what, what pisses me off is the fact that when Mia threw that drink in Wendy's face and assaulted her and started throwing things at her, now one of them said anything about Mia being being uh the aggressor and assaulting Wendy. Nobody took for Wendy at that point. But when it was Monique attacking Candace, oh y'all all was scared. Oh Giselle, you had to have bodyguards with you when you came over to the house and everybody was talking, you had to have some bodyguards. Y'all all was scared. Y'all all was, you know, scared of um Monique. Y'all didn't want to film with her and stuff like that. But now when you get Mia doing almost the, kind of like the same thing, you know, assaulting somebody, that's not a problem. Y'all some wishy-washy bitches. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all wishy-washy and y'all pick and choose who y'all want to fuck with. But that's that on the, it showed the sneak peek. Wendy showed up to the dinner still. Giselle. Already starting shit, trying to move me closer to her. Already, already starting some shit. Then I forgot who it was who played a clip. Somebody, I don't know if it was Robin. Somebody recorded Candace talking about mostly everybody to that table. Candace even said some shit about. Karen, something about Karen um messing with somebody. It was something like that they showed in the sneak peek. I'm like, girl, Karen was yes. Like looking at her, like, like in that that clip that that audio is like, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, Candace was probably talking about mostly everybody. I know Karen was one of them, and Karen was not fucking happy with that. Karen got her up, and she stormed away. So I cannot wait to see that episode. I really don't watch them like that, but seeing them clips here and there, I'm like, hmm, I can't wait to see what episode 9 is going to be. It's going to be very interesting. That's all, y'all. That's all I have to say. I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video. Look, I know it's been months. I haven't did a video. I do apologize. Life work, school, everything took over. It, it was, it's a lot going on. Then you got the holidays. So just bear with me, y'all. Finals is next week. Once I finish with that, I have more time to do and get back and do what I got to do. All right. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, drop comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this latest episode. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.